What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a toy photography vlog. Finally, it's been a while, but I'm on vacation. You can see the beach down there. So hopefully I'm gonna get some cool beach photos. Um, I've done this a couple times um, the past couple years, but I've just posted them on Instagram. I've never done a video on it, so it should be fun. Um, I love taking the photos at the beach. So hopefully they come out good. Hopefully we get some good ones. We're gonna get down there. I'm bringing like, today I'm bringing like three sets of figures, like three sets for different photos. So hopefully they all come out well and we can use all that footage in the video. Um, but I might end up making this video in a span of like two or three days. All right, so these are the first two I'm gonna be taking photos of. I picked up these cool little Myrtle Beach surfboards, they're magnets. Picked these up at the gift shop, so they'll be a cool little prop to use. Um, I'm gonna use some shore troopers for them as well. I did bring some along, but right now it's just not that sunny, so I figured the white storm troopers will show up a little bit better in some photos, so. Alright guys, so I'm editing my video right now and I forgot to mention this part. Um, when I'm taking photos of the figures down like on the water, like right on the shoreline, when the waves are hitting the figures, I'm using the burst mode on the iPhone. I, mean, I know you can use that on like a camera and everything too. I just do all my photos from an iPhone. So I'm using the burst mode, which you know, you're just holding the camera button down and it's just gonna take a rapid amount of photos in a row. That way I can kind of get before the wave hits, as the wave hits, after the wave hits, as they're falling down, and I can go through and pick the very best one. So that's that's what I did there. Um, it looked really fast. It looked like the wave just came in and just knocked down the figures, but I was actually able to get a pretty cool shot of the water, you know, hitting their legs or like them walking out into the water. So it came out pretty well. In my opinion, I liked it. Hopefully you guys like it. But just wanted to throw that part in there because I forgot to mention that. It was so noisy down at the beach. It was really hard to really talk much um, on camera. It was hard to pick up my voice between the wind and the waves. This time of year, it's very windy here. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know what that was. All right, so for this setup, uh, I have some accessories. Here are the, uh, the magnet surfboards that are used in the first picture, as well as this kind of patio chair with a little umbrella on it. I want to have one of the shore troopers kind of relaxing in there with the boards maybe up in the sand back here. Um, I'm kind of setting it up back here um, on this deck because it's easier than going out on the sand and really trying to because as you can see, it just gets really, really sandy um, and it's kind of aggravating. So I'm gonna try to get him posed up the way I want and then I'll you know, throw him out there and see what it's looking like. I'm gonna try to get him closer to the water. Okay, so this one I want to do the do back. I did bring him, but I want them to be in the water. So I'm definitely going to set them up um, where the tide's coming in. Hopefully the tide will hit the feet well, and hopefully the lighting is good because the sun is in a weird place right now. But I'm going to take these right down there by the tide, and hopefully get a good photo with the shore trooper on a do back. So, it's pretty early. It's like 6 in the morning. It is Force Friday. Not that it's an event, really, this year or this time around. Um, 
Last night I went to a Walmart here in South Carolina hoping to find some of the stuff. They didn't have it up. They acted like they didn't have any in the back. But I did see a little area that they cleared for the new stuff at price tags and everything like that. So I'm gonna go back and check it. Just see if I can find some stuff. I was able to score some of the exclusives online. Um, that's the only Mando they have, but they have every other figure from the wave, the first edition boxes. And then they have all the three and three quarter ones, it looks like. Um, it looks like this is the only Mando. Like the Mandalorian, first edition, only one. Um, they have two of the cows, but I'm gonna grab one and then they only have one Knight of Ren. But I'm grabbing that too, so. I really do want the off-world draw, but I have to be smart because I'm flying back, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be able to fit in my bag. They have them all. I got the second sister exclusive last night on GameStop, so I'm gonna pass on that for now. But yeah, pretty happy that I was able to stumble upon some because I really wanted these two the most. I mean, I wanted all these, but these were the two I was worried about trying to find. So, success, success. And they have these weird two packs, but I figured this would be kind of cool to throw in with this toy photography vlog because not enough stores in this area to get any footage to make an actual video on Just Force Friday, so. Pretty happy with finding those though. All right, so I just wanna go over the figures. I did pick up for Force Friday, which uh, was not crazy this year kind of a bummer that they didn't have like a bunch of midnight openings for anything there was like barely any walmarts even doing events like i checked a couple walmarts last night uh like i mentioned i'm on vacation and uh so i'm not really familiar with which walmarts are like the better stocked walmarts but i hit up a couple and they didn't have anything out um the workers were not helpful at all <laughs> Shout out to the Ohio Walmart workers because usually they help me out a lot more. But, um, but I was able to score the Knight of Ren, the VC card. It's actually in pretty good shape too. It's not beat up even though I'm going to open this guy when I get home. I might open him now, make it easier to get home. So this one I'll probably unfortunately keep in box for now. But I was super, super hyped to score this one. I really want to get the carbonized one from Target too. So hopefully they do another restock or they become available online again because i really do want to get it pretty bummed that i wasn't able to secure it and then i also got the cow kestis from the new jedi fallen order game which i'm really hype about that i cannot wait to play that game looks awesome um yeah i'm pretty happy it's kind of weird these first edition stickers like all of them have like a little almost air bubble air pocket inside of it like underneath it it's kind of odd that they like every single one of them had it but these look really good they're in good shape i was super hyped to actually find some uh, i didn't think i was gonna have any luck down here and that that drive ended up paying off um, i actually really like this mandalorian like i think the carbonized one obviously looks pretty cool looks better really happy with the ones i picked up i would have picked up more like i wanted the ray i wanted the um the second sister even though i snagged her on gamestop.com last night i was able to get the exclusive version of her um but these were the two that i was most worried about finding i just figured these were the two people who were gonna swoop up really quick so i'm really happy i was able to get them i want to add them to the collection open them up um but yeah so last night i was able to score the sith trooper the uh carbonized one off amazon and then i got the carbonized second sister off gamestop.com so i got those two and then i got these three so it's not a bad um, Force Friday haul. Pretty much did get everything that I wanted this Force Friday. It kind of worked out that I grabbed the others online because I'm really worried about how I'm gonna get these home. Because with the white boxes, I kind of want to keep them sealed for now, just in case someone you know really wants a white box for their collection, I can either help them and hook them up or trade. Because I really want, you know, if, if I could trade this for a figure I really want to get, that would work out even better, so. Yeah, but I just figured this would be a cool thing to add into this beach toy photography episode because the the toy photography wasn't that long. Uh, it was kind of hard trying to do toy photography on the beach by myself because I didn't have anybody like there to help me. My brother-in-law and my sister, like you know, they were there and they they did some of the filming for me when I was setting up. But it's so much easier when you have a hand there that you can constantly hand things to, like hold my phone, hold this figure, let me set this up, give my phone, you know. 
because it, it, it's a process when you're trying to catch waves hitting. So today is the last day that we're here. I'm gonna try to get some more photos, so we'll see. But hopefully you guys like the ones I did get. I got three pretty good ones that I was happy with. Um, and then of course I was happy with this. So overall vacation was awesome. And you know, I think this will make for a, for a fun video.